Next up, let's take a look at a regular hexagon. So on the regular hexagon, which is six sides, each side length, each side has a length of 10 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and label every side as 10. And we have to know what the perimeter is at the end of it. However, this bottom side, since we have an apothem right here, that apothem touches the side, makes a right angle, and cuts the side in half. So instead of 10, I'm going to put 5 and 5. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 5 plus 5 is 10. All right, number one, find the measure of each exterior angle of the hexagon. So if I want to know each exterior, I'll do 360 divided by the number of sides, so divided by 6. So every exterior angle is 60 degrees. Number two, find the measure of each interior angle of the hexagon. So for each interior, we have to take our interior angle formula, n minus 2, or 6 minus 2 times 180 divided by n, and n in this case is 6. So 6 minus 2 times 180 divided by 6 would be 120 degrees. So every angle inside of the hexagon is 120 degrees. Okay. However, that last corner on here, I'm going to leave blank because of our next question. Find the measure of angle JLK. So JLK. It's the corner of this triangle right here. And we just found that that entire corner was 120 degrees. However, this blue line is a radius, and it cuts that angle in half. So if I want to know what half of it is, I would do 120 divided by 2, which is 60 degrees. So this corner down here is 60 degrees. And we already know that this one was 90, and if this corner is 60, that means this one has to be 30. We have a special right triangle. So for number 4, to find the length of the apothem, this purple line, we can use our special right triangles, or we can use a hashtag. Or if you don't need to use a hashtag, don't use it. But there is a pattern here. So remember, it goes 30, 60, 90. And then the second row is x, x square root of 3, 2x. All right, the only side that we know to start off with is this 5. And 5 is all the way across from 30. So underneath 30, I'm going to put a 5. That tells me that x equals 5. So if x is 5, that means 2x is 10. So whatever side is across from 90 equals 10. Across from 90, this side is going to be 10. And if x is 5, Five, that means x square root of 3 would be 5 square root of 3. So a side that's across from 60, a side that's across from 60, would be 5 square root of 3. And that's our apothem. So the apothem of this hexagon equals 5 square root of 3. If I want to know the area of the entire hexagon, area equals 1 half times the perimeter times the apothem. So the one half part we can leave alone. That's just a number. To find the perimeter, I can do number of sides times the length of the side. There are six sides, and each side is 10, so 6 times 10, times our apothem, which is 5 square root of 3. So there are two different ways that you could answer this. You could leave it in simplified radical form, where you just multiply everything together and leave the square root of 3 alone, or you can type it all into your calculator. If I left the square root of 3 alone, I would just do 1 half times 6 times 3 times 5. And 1 half times 6 times 10 times 5 would be 150, so the answer would be 150 square roots of 3. Or... 
you could go along and type the entire thing into your calculator. So you would do 1 half times 6 times 10 times 5 square root of 3, which gets you 259 point, if we rounded two decimal places, it would be 0.8. Either one of those answers is acceptable.